This episode contains ad content. Bye, want a cracker? Hey guys, welcome back to DC Kids. Today, what was that? Oh, that was an alert from our new toy delivery box. Ooh, a delivery? Let's see. Oh, it's an invitation. Dear DC Kids, you're invited to join us at the Los Angeles Zoo for a super special Reading with the Superheroes event. Come join us to hear from the authors and artists of DC's middle grade books, learn about animals, and participate in draw-alongs and arts and crafts. We hope to see you there. You gotta go to the zoo and see animals up close? Awesome. But Jet, how are we gonna get there? Uh, we got the zoom tube. Oh, right. That's how. Yeah, our teleportation door. That's definitely not just a rotating door in our set. Yeah, let's go. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Whoa! <gasps> We made it, and we landed right in front of the zoo entrance. So, where do you think we should go next? Ah, oh, smell comic books. That way! All right. Man, there are so many awesome animals here. Which one are you most excited to see? I would love to hang out with some koalas. What about you, Ooh. Jet? I want to see some, like, snakes or Komodo dragons. That would be awesome. <laughs> if you could have an animal mascot, what would it be? What animal do I have the most in common with? I don't know. What about you? I don't know either. Huh. Hey, look, there's Kirk Swamp. Oh. He wrote Secret Spiral of Swamp Kid. Let's go ask right, him. Go. Oh, hey, Kirk. Hey, Jet, Nandi. How's it going? Pretty hey, well. Yeah. Right, what are you guys doing here? Are you here for the DC Superheroes event? Yeah. Yes. In fact, while we wait, we really need help deciding what our animal mascot could be. Could you please help us? Well, I'm always partial to a poison dart frog, and we just happen to be naming one today Whoa. after Whoa. a character in my book. Oh, Whoa. my gosh. That's, that's cool. so awesome. You guys want to help? Of yeah. course. Love yeah. All right. Cool. Come on. Let's Please. do it. Diana help out wildlife in the book? She is a big fan of animals. <laughs> yeah. She loves all the animals of the island of Themyscira, and while the adults are busy doing all their other stuff, she's the only one really looking out for the animals and becomes the animal steward for the whole island. So have you guys thought about adding giant kangaroos in your book? Oh, absolutely. They're <laughs> rideable kangaroos. They're called kangas. They're exclusive Ooh. to Themyscira. How does Diana interact with some of the animals in the book? So she very much likes to swim with the dolphins, run with the cheetahs. Um, any animal that they have their own special hobby, she likes to try to engage with them. Yeah, that's neat, yeah. If, if she could be any animal, what animal do you think she could be? Mm. You know, we were thinking about this, and you thought cheetah, but then you're like, thought no. thought cheetah, but cheetah's one of her main nemeses. And that's why I feel like it's ironic, because she loves cheetahs, and yet a cheetah betrays her. A lioness, her. or a really powerful <laughs> matriarch elephant. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I could see that. So we're trying to find our animal that we would be. Do you guys have any ways that you could help us figure it out? Because we're really struggling. Yes. A good way to start is thinking about what are your guys' hobbies? I like to dance a lot. I like to sing, too. I like sports. Sports is my main thing. And in terms of, of personality, are you patient? Like when you're stalking your prey, do you bide your time, wait for the opportunity, or are you impulsive and immediately attack? Ooh. Depends on the environment. Yeah, you know? me too. Yeah. Me too. I think mostly I would be more patient. Stalkerish. Not in a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Well, that was really fast. You can give away one of these drawings to an alumni fan. Oh, who wants to wonder what? Oh my gosh, so many. Wow. Our next 
next guest is the author of Super Sons, Action Pack Trilogy, following the story of Batman and Superman. Please welcome Ridley Jr. Tell us a little bit about Super Sons. Super Sons is about the son of Batman and the son of Superman, and they work as partners with Candace, who is from the land of Mandis, and they are trying to save the world as they know it from climate change. Would you like to meet one of the Zoo's superhero animals? I would, unless it's you. <laughs> Please welcome zookeeper Katie Vincent and superhero owl named Grippy. Oh. So this is Grippy. She's a great horned owl. You can absolutely find these locally. They definitely live here in Southern California and all over. Hey guys, we are here Hi. with Katie and Griffy. Hi, this is Griffy. She's a great horned owl. Oh, she's so cool. What is so special about owls? Well, owls are really special because they're birds of prey that hunt at night. So they're awake at night and that's when they like to hunt their food. So if owls could have a superpower, what would it be? So Griffy's really special superpower is that she can sneak up on her prey. She has the power of silent light. They have specially designed feathers that allow them to sneak up on their prey with almost no noise at all. Oh my wow. gosh. So we are actually trying to figure out what our animal mascot could be. Could you help us, please? Do you think you're more of a leader or do you like to run with the pack? I do like teamwork, but I also like being a leader a lot. So I don't know, that's a tough one. Yeah, it is a, a tough, tough one. one. Do you think you're pretty athletic? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I that, think that yeah. helped us a lot. Thank you. Thank you're you so welcome. much. Thank nice you, meeting you, Griffy. <laughs> Alright, who here is a fan of the Justice League? Our next guest wrote an entire book of how fans are writing letters to their favorite members of the Justice League. Please welcome Michael Northbrook. Hey guys, we're here with the writer of Dear Justice League, Michael Northrup. Hello there. <laughs> hey, so how do you decide what advice to give? The things I was trying to do is just find um, questions, you know, that would sort of say something about who that superhero was, mm -hmm. you know, like as a person, but also just be a little bit more fun, a little bit more relatable. Yeah, so that's, that, that's, that's how I did that. Yeah, very cool. Really um, neat, yeah. Thank what's you. some advice you could give to us? I just, uh, I flew in from New York, Yeah. you know, where it is winter. Oh. I'm in LA, where it certainly looks like <laughs> summer to me, right? Uh -huh. So I was thinking how important those seasons are for animals. Yeah. So if you're trying to figure out what animal you are, is just think about what season you like best. Winter or summer? I would have to say summer. I love the sun. I love the beach. I love all things warm. Okay. Yeah, summer is fun, but I'm a winter guy. Maybe more of a winter animal for you, yeah. right? Maybe more of a summer animal for you. Hmm. So that's my advice. Yeah. And I think uh, I think Superman would be behind that too. Yeah. Thank you. I like that advice. Thank you. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Let's bring up Chris from the LA Zoo and 
Michelle Wells, VP and Executive Editor of DC's Book for Young Readers Program. Hi. Powers vested in me by DC Comics and the LA Zoo and the Planet Krypton. Name this poison dart frog Russell. Man, today was super fun. We got to meet a bunch of authors, creators, mm -hmm. artists, and not to mention some really cool animals. Yes, but we are forgetting one thing. We haven't chosen our animal mascots yet. Ah, you're right. Well, I'm athletic. Mm -hmm. I like to stick with my pack. I'm gonna go with Gorilla, like Gorilla Grodd. Mm, that's a good idea. I like the summertime a lot. I like to dance, and I think I'm pretty fast, so I am going to go with the cheetah. Ooh, like from the comic uh -huh. books. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more episodes like this, make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Bye.